Glenn, in a lot of ways, very, very unlucky tonight. What did you make of it yourself? Yeah, I, I think it's probably similar to the other games we've played so far this year. You know, we, we certainly deserved, I think, to come out with something of it, uh, as has been the case so far. But I suppose when you move up to grades like we have uh, and we're at the level that we're at, um, it always becomes that bit more difficult. How hard is it to put together a string of decent performances but not able to get the result? Well, I wouldn't say it's, it's hard. It's probably hard to take. Um, but I think we'll be better and stronger as a result of it. And uh, like I have to give fierce credit to these fellas. They're, despite the last couple of games and even coming off after that, you know, they're, they're looking forward to getting in training on Monday night and they're, they're just mad to get a win. And, and they keep playing with the same heart and passion that they are playing with and, and showing a massive, you know, never say die attitude. It, it will turn around for them. I think it's fair to say they emptied the tank tonight. You had a long meeting debrief with them in the centre of the field afterwards. What was the mood like? Obviously, they're, they're, I suppose, in many ways devastated, you know, when you put an effort like that in, or a similar effort that we've put in over the last three games, and, and uh, from a points perspective, not getting anything over, it has to be uh, disappointing. But, you know, these fellas are showing that they're made of stern stuff, and I expect them to, to keep bouncing back the way they have shown so already this year. And it doesn't get any easier from here. How hard is it to pick the lads up from this point? It's, I don't think it's, it's not hard at all. They're ready, they're ready for next, next, uh, next Saturday, Sunday afternoon. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you.